<laughs> What's up, guys? Up to hear more. <laughs> you clap. And this is another episode of Damn Internet, you scary. Hey, hey. We got a very special guest in the house, ladies and gentlemen, a good friend of the, I mean, no strangers to the podcast. You know, he's a comedian, uh, content creator, writer, father, uh, business owner, and good friend. Mr. Dion Lack is in the building. <laughs> two fingers. Two fingers That's on two hands. Be. Yeah, okay. man. Yeah. Okay, so so far you have had the best entrance <laughs> because it's been Fumble City with this soundboard ever since we got it. And that was mm-hmm. that was pretty that was on solid. Point. I appreciate that. What? See, I, you need it. You need to hear it too to to, to yeah, really yeah. Uh, hear it. It's like Damn, son, where'd you get that one? It was name? that. Come on, come on. This is very keep it moving. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Very unrecognizable Unrecognizable sounds <laughs> How you feeling today, Dion? I'm great, man You know uh, Worked out this morning uh, That's it You worked What'd out? What'd you do? Chest and legs Okay, I didn't know you guys were going to ask me was a, That was a doubt See, everybody no, thinks I'm about to say gonna, something I mean. I was going to move on Because what I say is It's not considered work I call, I call it the internet walk What's that? Internet walk I just walk around my neighborhood and it's a white woman walk. So a WWW. <laughs> Wasn't trying to do that. He started so well. That's it. So wait, you walked around the block? Yeah, just listen to some podcasts and just walk. Do a little speed white woman walk. Mm-hmm. That's what. Like yep. How long do you do you do you count steps? I do 10K. You do 10,000 steps in the morning? <laughs> yeah. At once? Yeah. How long does that take? That sounds like a lot. No, about an hour and a half. Okay. Yeah. So Two thousand steps only an hour and a half. Yeah. No. You gotta keep moving, man. I don't fast believe walk. that. Believe it. That's I don't believe that. That's a, that's I got a lot nothing. of steps. I got nothing. I'm gonna look that up, Dion, because I feel like you're starting off the show with a goddamn lie, and I don't appreciate it. I think I want to see now. I want to beat this. All right, man. But I, I live in a place. You I'm can't sure really you walk can around. get you can get a lot faster. And I, I, that counts as a uh, a workout. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't trot trot or. Or speed up. I just do my little. Ten thousand steps equates to about eight kilometers, oh, or an man. hour and forty minutes of walking, oh, easy work. depending on your stride length and walking speed, mm-hmm. depending on your length. Okay, I stand corrected, and I apologize for doubting you, sir. Here it is. That sounds like. <clears throat> I, I still don't think you're doing it though. Are you guys in healthy mood? <laughs> I don't give a fuck how long it takes. <laughs> put it on my dog. The average person, I ain't seeing Dion do the shit. <laughs> fuck what you talk about, Dion. Oh, they said 10K was light work. Yeah. Who the okay. fuck is saying 10K y'all is light walk, work? Y'all just walking around, no. huh? 10K is usually what they ask people to do throughout the day. Well, I guess at, at, throughout the day you're at work. At well, six also, miles? 10K is six miles? No. Oh, about it's eight, no, it's like it's like eight kilometers, which I don't it's, know. It's I don't like, translate. No, 10, Two 10 kilometers is six miles. Well, you're saying 10 kilometers versus 10,000 steps. Oh, yeah, 10, I thought 10,000, yeah. 10K, 10K. He did say yeah. 10K, but yeah, that could have been 10K. Oh, he didn't run a 10K. Right. right. I was going to say a 10K, that's a lot. And you know, you, you're running all four, so that's a different. You got you to gotta divide, that by, <laughs> divide that by four. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> <laughs> nah, no soundboard. No soundboard. <laughs> Trying to get it right. <laughs> well, he can say I got to get my gallops in today. <laughs> oh my god, that'd be so funny to see in your neighborhood. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? <laughs> it's here. <laughs> Morning. But, but, I, I let it go, but Dion was like, I walk around my woman, like I got my little white woman. Walk. I was like, not with all that ass, you know. Oh, man. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> you gonna pause for the sound bar? He said, ha ha. Awkward. Come on, man. <laughs> Stop narrating, narrating my life, oh. man. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Damn it. <laughs> Oh, Damn boy. it. That nigga said I walk around on all fours. It was oh, no shit. coming back with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said like, that's two two point five thousand hooves. <laughs> <laughs> you you my, did this to me. Got my ten thousand hooves. I'm trying in. to skip by it. I said, no, I said, no. Let's just let's just workout. That yeah. is funny. All right. Well that's that's we, off to a great start. <laughs> <laughs> so we were talking right before we uh Started recording, we were talking about our favorite fast food. Yeah. And how fast does a restaurant have to be before it's considered fast food? Because you right. got Chinese restaurants that also have, oh, 
you know, their restaurants, but they that should be quick as hell. Yeah, but that's, I a mean, any, anytime you're at a Chinese restaurant, you know it's not healthy. Everything is fried. Right, but is, is it considered fast food or a restaurant? Or a fast food restaurant? Fast food restaurant. You still think that they're considered fast food, though? Chinese? Yeah, absolutely. Everything is fried. If, if all you have to choose from is fried, absolutely. Are you no. guys, I mean, it seems like you guys are super healthy because it's the end, end of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's the end of the year, is what yeah. I meant. Okay. What's y'all... Pat, get... fuck you, bro. I wasn't even trying nah. to say it like that. Nah, nah. I was saying y'all are being healthy because it's the end of the year. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't... A... I mean, wait, let me tell you what I heard. <laughs> well, seems like you guys are extra healthy. <laughs> yeah, I didn't Because it's the end of the year. I didn't even mean it like that. <laughs> it was a... I... He said it like it's an isolated <laughs> incident. <laughs> well, it's December, and from now your, you guys are expelled. From your healthy experiences. <laughs> That's right, he tried to per this month. Yeah, yeah. Per this week. What's y'all, what's y'all guilty pleasure fast food, and then what's y'all fast mm. food that you get when you're trying to be healthy? You know how, like, sometimes when you're trying to be healthy, but you don't want a salad, you'll get, like, yeah. a, mm. unhealthy, mm. a healthy, unhealthy thing? I got you. I am a whore. Wait, which one are you doing first? This is this is my guilty pleasure. I don't tell nobody this. I have my little trench hat on, my, my trench coat, my little I was about hat. I say, I never heard of a trench hat. <laughs> yeah, that's even, de that's it's devious. Like, <laughs> it's, like, it's like a bee hat. It's like a bee hat. <laughs> Well, you can got still a, got shit in it. What you want? It's got a little belt. <laughs> <laughs> got a shotgun in it. And I'm like, what y'all need? There? I got some blue blockers. I got some. <laughs> I got some, some aviators. You need some honey packs. I got, I got do rags. <laughs> Yeah, I had a little hat on and my little night glasses, and I go to, go to Taco Bell 3 a.m. Baby, that is my whore. You get. I get my number six, ch two chalupas, soft taco, and a Baja Blast. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Del Taco and Taco Bell are absolutely like the 3 a.m. Yeah, it's my it's, whore. I don't tell nobody. It's horrifying. That's I can't prostitute. do that anymore, too. Mm -hmm. I don't never brag about it. I just be like, hey, sweetheart, I got to go out. I'll be back. I got to change, change my oil. Have you ever... Uh... <laughs> He's talking to more food when he says that. <laughs> and I got to go. Talk to a salad? <laughs> hey, uh, I'm about to eat you in a second. I'll be right back. You got to... <laughs> You got a salad at home that you stepping out on? <laughs> <laughs> Where were you? I'm going to get a sturdier you, fork. <laughs> why, are you, why, why are you coming home so late? Why do you Why do you have grease on you? Are you, you cheating on me? No, you baby. Like, I am, I am, Please. I am so full. Uh, I just, I'm, I'm going to pack you up uh, and save you for the You mom. don't even touch me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the lettuce is getting old. The, the, I'm you withering. trying to wipe me out, Dion? I know there's someone else. Come on. I'm already got blue cheese all over me. You got to take advantage of it. I'm going to die off. I found honey mustard in your trash can. I know you. I know you. I got to put me first. I got to put me first, Dion. <laughs> you can step it out on the side. <laughs> and the funny thing is, I had like a little napkin right here, like, mm, you look amazing. Um, I'm going to get a sturdier fork. I'll be right back. Ooh, you oh think I God. want this? <laughs> it just <laughs> happened. You got mild sauce in your top pockets. Chicken tenders don't just happen, do ya? It was a choice. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. That's a great bit right there. I be getting the, the cheesy gordita crunch. Mm. Yeah, that's the fattest thing ever. It's a taco, and then they take another taco shell and mm -hmm. put, put it over that. Between them. Yeah. yeah, got a cheese is patent. Yeah. Right there, it's man. a soft, hard shell. And get you every time with the pitcher, man. It don't want nothing or taste nothing like that. Oh, yeah. You be like, they got me, man. They just threw this shit together. Mm -hmm. Y'all ever woke up and saw the destroyed meal that you had the night before, and it was like... <laughs> It's almost like waking up as the Hulk, like you, like all the destruction you did, and there's just like crumpled up, yeah, yeah. like packaging and stuff. You're waking up like, in your own sauce. Oh, what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> Never done that. That's, oh, that's man. rock bottom. I would check myself in somewhere. If I woke up with the sauce, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I remember nothing. <laughs> as a BT, no, BT say he used to have the dipping sauce on his stomach. He have his shirt off as a bit. You're like beep 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 beep. beep Absolutely beep. not. Right in his belly button. <laughs> he poured in his belly button. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> have you ever uh have you ever had one nugget left, but just a little bit of sauce, you like it came you like 
<laughs> inside of the, yeah, you hell put your, yeah. You put your tongue in there like, and hell then, You yeah. lick the inside of the container? <laughs> hell because, yeah. Because I'll scoop nugget. it out before I do that. <laughs> but you can't get in there because yeah. the nugget is shaped a, a certain way. You so bite. wait, you bite the nugget first and then chase it with licking yeah, the... because it has a curve. So you got to be like, come on, get Man, animals. animals. The fattest, <laughs> you animals. The fattest most yeah. painter shit I used shit. to do come on. was when I was driving. Come on, talk about it. I would take some french fries and make a fucking ball. Oh, boy. I would ball the french fries up, and I'd take a ball, Damn. a bite of the french fry ball, and I'd open some ketchup, Damn. and squirt the ketchup in my mouth, and then yep. I'd eat it like that. Because I was driving, so I didn't have time to like... That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, I was... I had that bitch like... It ain't nothing but a potato ball. If oh you boy. if you like... um. What's yeah. the um the the, the portos? It ain't nothing but a potato ball. Oh my god! Okay, yeah, it's it's a homemade Imagine self smashed a makeshift potato ball. Imagine a kid next to you like, cover your eyes, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Look away from the monster <laughs> in traffic. <laughs> yeah, she's like, oh, mommy, what's wrong with that guy? Cover your eyes. Yeah, I, the, I definitely did that, man. The worst I did, and it was so inefficient because you just need, you could only do it on left hand turns or right hand turns. I would have the sauce. I'll be driving like this, sauce and nugget. Yeah. And then that's the wild. Turn, <laughs> turn. You don't really yeah, yeah, need yeah. to, because I, I found myself swerving trying, right, to, right, trying to dip. Right. So I would turn and dip, and then come back. And then. Coming in third, I would say, was my my fattest thing is, I would just drink the sauce, and then just mm -hmm. keep throwing the. You would you take shots of the sauce like, after so many. <laughs> And, then, and just have it as a reservoir. <laughs> so it's like in the gums and, I feed, in the top. and I feed my mouth so, so it you know how much. <laughs> did so I, you're like, oh no, that's enough. That's, that's enough. enough. Food that to sauce ratio can't be real. I can, <laughs> I can mix this up in a <laughs> fucking slushy right now. That's now a, I can swallow. <laughs> you just have a be, a bed of sauce. <laughs> yes. How do you, how do you not drink all the sauce? How, how are nuggets just getting by, keeping the no, reserve? No, no. He, he, so the nuggets are the reserve is meant for the nuggets. Yeah, right. So you put enough meat in there to where, all right, cool. If I put any more meat in here, then it won't all be soaked up. Right. Meat or sauce? No, the sauce is there to soak the meat. Right. So you, he eats the meat. So I only know because I've done this before. Yes. But so, the sauce is yes. first. Listen, it's like, all right, if I drink some water, right? I, mean, I got water right here and I put some tortilla chips in my mouth, right? I know how many chips I can put in there before the water won't soak those chips to make it easier for me to chew and digest. Yeah, yeah. So I, yeah. I, if I put three chips in there, boom, all right, that's enough, that's enough for this water. Time to swallow. Right, boom, now it's time to chew and swallow, right? But if I put four in there, that's going to be a tough swallow. <laughs> I'm going to have to drink some more water. What are the advantages? Why not just dip... One at a time. I'm driving. I'm driving. I'm driving. Oh, this was a this is a specific yeah. driving no, technique. No, I'm not at home doing it. <laughs> but I'm driving. I mean, I'm, I'm sure. I'm doing it now. I'm doing like I'm like this. I'm like, I'm like, I put the chips down. I'm gonna put on the dish. I'm like, there's you guys can't. You guys aren't. What's wrong with that? You guys hey, aren't telling the truth right now. <laughs> I absolutely am telling the truth. I've definitely, I've definitely. Done... I'm mortified. Hell, <laughs> what do you mean? Hey man. <laughs> Wait, so how many nuggets are in there at once? It depends it, on how much, sauce, how much, how much you consume. Yeah. So you've had like three nuggets and a sea of sauce in your mouth just because... <laughs> I'm thinking a sea of sauce. It's pretty, it's pretty gracious. <laughs> that mouth just because just you couldn't pull over? <laughs> no, I, the whole point of fast food is to eat on the go. It don't right. mean you and have to eat that, it fast. You get you it You do fast. have to eat it fast. And I You're supposed eat to eat everything regular. I got to eat it at the temperature it was in, d d designed to be eaten right, at. Right. If I take my time, it's going to get cold. Yeah. Because I already got the lid open. Everything's so designed to be hot. Access. All hot food is designed to be hot. But that doesn't mean you have to... No, man. The reheat is getting cooler faster because that lid ain't on it. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah, that's the worst one, right, guys? Versus his? No, that you have in your arsenal. Um, that's the worst one. I mean, I've I've done the I've done the re reverse too. I've I've eaten. I've just put a whole lot of chicken, like, a, a bit like a chicken tender, into pieces right there, just to get it in, and then yes. drowned it with the yeah. sauce afterwards. So I can mix it like that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That actually makes more sense than the bed of sauce. <laughs> It's just, it's just, it's just my and then just throwing stuff in. Do you swash it around so no, it gets? No, man. You, we chewing it. That's swashing it around. I was like, I've seen him do that once. I see you do. I see you do that once. I see because you got that 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 mouthwash by Ranch by Hidden Valley, and I see you do that. There's there's, there's no advantages I that I think of. A straw from Hidden Valley. Because you still have to put three nuggets in. And drink the sauce. That's four times. But you're chewing. You're chewing the nuggets as you put them in. 
So like, all right, so you got the bed of sauce. Right. You bite a nugget, chewing it, right? Then you bite, the, you take the second bite, you throw the rest of it in, you chewing that too. You reach for one more nugget, like, oh, okay, I got I got enough mm-hmm. for half of this nugget. Time you can't swallow. put this whole nugget in there, because then it ain't going to be enough sauce yeah. to moisturize the situation. So half of it, mm, 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 mm. Now mm-hmm. all of it's uh, not going to the swallowing process. Yep. Right? There we go. Look, look at Mucho God says. Smoke yep. a God. Y'all pre coach your mouth with sauce for the chicken. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe what I'm hearing. <laughs> all right, well, first of all, listen, let, we do that in every situation, right? You coat the pan with oil Ooh. or butter before you start cooking, That's right? Before you have sex, you put a little lube on it, right? That's or you go down on weirdly, your body and get a little weirdly lube. Similar. That's every situation you're supposed to coat yeah. whatever you're using before you use it. <laughs> yeah. That's how you preserve it. Mm-hmm. That's how you make sure it's going to come out to the best ability possible. Yep. Okay? That's Don't look at us because we're innovators and we're not afraid to say what we do. You guys are sheep. What's up, people? Just want to let you know that this episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Let's just jump right into it. Sex. Right, guys? Am I right? Remember the days we was always ready to go? The drop of a dime, huh? That something happens called 30s. 30, 35, starts to change a little bit. Not 38, you got to plan it out. It's okay. It happens to a lot of us. All right. Or sometimes it doesn't happen. You just want to see what you're capable of when you got a cape on your penis, when you're giving it uh, 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 somewhat of like a super pill. That's what I look at Blue Chew like. Okay, Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis and Levitra, but in a chewable tablet and at a fraction of the cost. I've been signed up with Blue Chew for over two and a half years. I got to be honest with you guys. I don't see me stopping anytime soon. Okay, I feel like if I stop, it would cause problems at the house. And I'm not about that, especially not starting off the new year like that. We want smooth sailing. And that's why I'm keeping Blue Chew in the rotation. You can take them anytime, day or night. So you're always ready when the opportunity arises. All right. And the process is super simple. You just sign up at bluechew.com, consult with one of the licensed uh, medical providers. And once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. And the best part is, it's all done online. So no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Now, Bluetooth tablets are made in the USA, and they're prepared to ship directly to your door in a discreet package. So, fellas, if you're ready to see what all can be, huh? if you want to see why I've signed up and I've been signed up for over two and a half years. If you want to see why <laughs> I got everything I wanted for Christmas, then you need to sign up. And you know if I'm telling you about it, we got a good little deal for you. How's a free month of Blue Chew Sound? All you got to do is pay $5 for shipping and handling because that's what we're giving out. We want you to try Blue Chew for free when you use the promo code DIYS at checkout and just pay $5 for shipping. That's bluechew.com. Promo code DIYS to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. We thank BlueChew for sponsoring this podcast. I thank you for watching. I think it's a perfect time for we talk about the, the the idea we got, the business. Go yeah. ahead. Lay it on. Lay it on. <laughs> so, so uh, Deer and I. Was, Mouth coats. Was on, <laughs> was on new Shark product. Tank. <laughs> <laughs> we got condom butter. <laughs> And yeah, yeah. little slithers of butter that come in condom packages. They're flavored. We got our we got a uh uh it garlic or parmesan. No, it basically what it does is it coats your tongue. So this basically we created this Could so come. when people have white co-workers and white family members and they have to go over their houses for dinner, you coat your tongue with this butter condom yep. first, yep. right? And then whatever you eat is gonna have the hint and the essence of that that yep. flavor, mm-hmm. so all the food tastes good. Even yep. the drinks are gonna taste like butter. Well, mo- no. you're gonna have to you have to you're gonna have to gain some resistance and right. some discipline. Eat your mm-hmm. food first, you know, and how then like, drink. You know how like rooms randomly have like little for like air freshener. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's how the butter squirts out. Yeah. it's just yep. kind of like randomly. It realized the, the balance of the food. And yeah, if it was just, why not bring your own right? butter? See then, because then you look, then you look ungrateful, right? And you like, oh, I brought my own. So, oh, you don't trust us? It's like you can't say no, bitch. You know I don't Golly, trust you. Dude. You know, but you're also spitting us. out all the drinks they give you because no, they no, taste no, like not, I'm not. I'm so it only lasts 15 minutes. Let me let me tone it down for this incompetent imbecile. Yeah, go ahead, Dion. It's idiot. It's not even efficient. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even efficient. You slide the condom on, huh? And anytime you have some sort of savory, mm-hmm. you know, some some eggs, some potatoes, a little butter mm-hmm. burst out. It you is. Know? And only lasts 15 minutes. 
That's about the time of the meal. Right? Only? Yeah, 15 minutes is about the time it takes to eat mm-hmm. something. That's a long ass time. What do you, uh, well, how fast are you eating? How Patrick, much are you eating talking? inappropriately buttered foods, though? Why is it inappropriate? Right. What makes it inappropriate? Because, because you, don't you do it bought like something to make sure that your tastes <laughs> have an extra shot of butter. Everything has butter in it, Pat. Everything has butter in it for the most part. And we now is about to do bacon grease as well. Bacon flavored uh, items. But That's going to fuck them up right yeah. there, man. Yeah. That's going to fuck them up. Because you can eat that yeah. with regular season shit. Mm-hmm. Bacon is basically a condiment at this right. point. The only thing Not more... even really an addition. It's, it's more like it's, it's like ketchup because it makes everything better. Bacon is a condiment. But the only thing more embarrassing and mean than bringing your own butter is sitting down to eat a nigga's meal with a butter condom on. You're implying that no one knows about the product. Here's the thing. This is going to fuck you up. Mm-hmm. Give it to him. The invisible. You, 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 you can do it on your lady. Ooh. Mm-hmm. I never ate coochie and said this needed some garlic butter, mm. but I mean. But you been missed out. Don't it ain't just it ain't just it ain't just for the cuckoo. It's also for the ahu. Yep. pH balance goes straight down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you down that, is you bad, that, right? Or you, good? You, you, eat, you eat that butt with that garlic butter oh, on there. Boy. Oh, ahu. Oh. That was mm-hmm. the ahu. Ahu. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I, 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 yeah, the, the asshole could use some butter. <laughs> <laughs> There's what, where we meet. What, That's where we what agree if you on. Like, <laughs> oh wow! I'm taste like it's like the the thing has been dead. You be like, oh, that's just you, huh? Damn! <laughs> <laughs> you got a buttery biscuit back there. <laughs> oh, that's just you. That's grounds. Oh, I can't even get mad at because I was back there for fifteen minutes. I might I might have left. I might have caused this. That's grounds for marriage. <laughs> You get up like, oh, it was great. You look and see the unopened uh, tongue condom. Whoa. Right. Man, I know you're not talking. Last week you had somebody just, who, who mentioned T-Rose? You talk about coochie ketchup last week. And now you discussed it with the... Uh... I mean, I'm uh, that's where I got on board was the the, the booty hole butter. <laughs> booty hole butter. <laughs> yeah. And coochie ketchup. But, uh, yeah, pre- pre- the pre-coating the tongue and the mouth T-Rose is wild. selling booty butter. Booty butter is crazy. <laughs> Hey, that's an easy sell. My booty hole butter. Yeah. <laughs> it's basically body butter, but, you know, you can put it on your booty, too. Do they, have, do they have butt deodorant? Lomi. Like for the in-between crack? Yeah, they got Lomi. Yes. I mean, that'd be getting ashy on, on some girls. outside crack. Yeah. The, the ashy yeah, inside You got to put it up in there. The Lomi, you suppose, you, it's, a, it's, a, it's a deodorant <laughs> for body parts that get more friction or have a better chance of getting, you know, mm-hmm. a little more sweaty than others. So. That's wild to, to get caught doing that. You no, just you do it right when you get out the shower. Yeah, you need girl. Like, what you doing? You know, like, hey, I'm just doing girls a little. Be, thick girls be putting uh, deodorant on the inside of the thighs. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm talking about just you as a man. Oh. What's wrong with that? I think that's just healthy grooming. I sure, know we're talking but I don't about get ourselves. caught doing that. Look, lock the door. <laughs> the fuck are you taking a shower with the door wide open for anyway? I'll do that. Turn the goddamn exhaust be, on to catch the to catch the heat and steam and close the goddamn I'm door. In my Dion. bedroom, my one leg up, you know. And I'm and I'm and I'm. Oh, so you wanted to get caught you're in the bedroom? <laughs> yeah, and you got the one leg up. You don't need to do that. You just you making it a, a sexual nah, thing. Nah, hey, Dion has on, to put one leg. Hey, hey, Dion has to hit him with one of these to get a good. Because I, I can't get a ball gag in. I can't get it. Ball gag. I'm pulling on the other one. I'm pulling on the other one. I got leather mask on. You you lotion up with a ball gag in your mouth? Jesus Christ! What is wrong with you? He's like. Get, go get away! Out of here. It's my morning routine. There are children watching. <laughs> <laughs> the windows are open. People are what? calling complaints. The landlords getting the emails and calls. <laughs> Jesus crazy. Christ, man! Hey, what's up, guys? Just want to let you know that this episode is sponsored in part by BetterHelp. And with the new year upon us, first of all, happy new year. Okay. Second of all, we all know we're at that part of the year when everybody wants to work on self-improvement. You know, maybe you're taking supplements in the morning and your vitamins, or you might be working out, trying to get your body in the best shape possible. Well, why not get everything in order, right? Why not check and make sure your mental health is just as well and as fit as your physical health, all right? And you can do that with better help. It is amazing, all right? It's entirely done online designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire, get matched with a licensed therapist, and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Now, I have been in therapy at this point over three years, and I got to be honest, 
I credit a lot of the successes in my marriage, a lot of the successes in my business um, partnerships, a lot of the successes in my friendship with therapy. It taught me how to communicate more effectively. It taught me how to recognize the flaws that I may be displaying. It taught me how to take constructive criticism better. Nobody likes to be reprimanded. Nobody likes to be told no. Um, and I realized I really had a problem with it I, that I didn't recognize just on my own. So therapy has been amazing for me. And I want everyone to feel as great as I feel and more. I mean, like, don't just stop at me. Be better than me. So celebrate the progress that you've already made. And you can now visit BetterHelp dot com slash DIYS today to get 10% off your first month. That's better H-E-L-P dot com slash DIYS to get 10% off your first month. Do it. You will absolutely love it. Only thing that can change for the better is you. What Did is Kevin from Home Alone grow up to be Jigsaw? A deadly who? serious investigation. Who? Kevin McAllister. No, grow up to be who? Jigsaw. Oh, shit. So they're saying that his little traps got better over time? Yeah, I guess so. Um, I don't know much about the Saw lore. Do you ever, like, find out about Jigsaw or, like, his backstory? I love the story. I love it. I, 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 yeah, I, I, I stopped watching <coughs> Saw probably after the third one. Damn. And by the third one, I probably wasn't paying attention to the, the entire movie. It's like, how do y'all keep getting caught, number one? Number two, what this nigga do to have the money... To get all these places to booby trap all of this shit, right. buy all this equipment. What does nigga do, bro? Yeah, and to have this like he, if you watch all ten, there's ten, which there's I would never do. There's ten. Fuck, I, fuck, you, of, fuck you, think you are torture. fast and furious, and, nigga? And y'all need to factor in that he died in three. So four, jigsaw, yes. Oh, four through ten has no jigsaw in it. Yes, he's in there, but there are pre stories of how all these are connected. Like he. Mm. Pre-produced all these deaths. Wait, what? <laughs> Come on, man. Pat, <laughs> <laughs> did you hear what he said? I'm certain. Yeah, one hundred percent. So set up. Yeah, I hate it. I so hate set it. Why up. Why are you doing this? What? <laughs> yeah, he died in three, four, two, four, <clears throat> two. So they dropped it like Star Wars. Yeah. Everything is a prequel after that. They're not prequels. Sure. Sure. Or are they? No, no, no. no they no. keep going in timeline, but his videos are pre-recorded. No. So, so he died in three. The storyline keeps going on, but it's stories of how he said this person's gonna fuck up. So I need you to do this when he does this, and when that person fuck up, I need you to kill him to do this. But isn't every movie start with everybody in a room and he talks to him and tells him about all, all the them. traps? Not all of them. They hmm. like the first. Maybe like like maybe four of them do that. Mm. They're all in one room, and then the rest of them are different. They're just different, like different scenarios. As in, like I'm I'm heading somewhere, and you getting caught in a room. WTF? Was didn't so know late. that one was gonna be. I didn't like that one. <laughs> that was I, was late. Like, was I didn't so know. Late. I didn't know that was the voice, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry about that one. <laughs> He's so. not even listening. He's just like, what else can I use? Yeah. <laughs> He's scrolling mm -hmm. through the sound. Uh -huh. Oh, he sounds like he said something surprising. Yeah. <laughs> Let me say this surprise. <laughs> Said, Why? I don't know how to stop it once it started. Maybe I could. Let me see if this. What's okay, that stops it. Okay, go. Cool. See if I can delete that I'm one. I'm not talking anymore. <laughs> yeah, come you're, on. Not, you're not, you're not going to set me up for. So, wait, how do they get caught if they're not, if, if the movie doesn't start with them caught? And he's dead? No. <laughs> Seems so, like Saw should end. No, because it's like when he dies, there's a person there that's like, now it's over. This person right here is like, now it's over. He's now the star on the fourth one. So he's setting oh, it's up the same people, setting it up. right? Like, right. Uh. He's setting up for somebody else, and now he has a bunch of people that he's he's the saw. So now it's like I remember when I talked to Jigsaw, and it shows like a flashback of it. Like he told <laughs> me that you said this. Wait, the people who were getting tortured end up being the torturers? Yes, like eventually, like the guy who set everything up in four end up being tortured in like seven. Why'd they skip so much? No, because he's the one that's doing moving all doing all the pieces now. But he, but but all uh, these little pieces, like you'll the see, the one like, that got tortured in four is the one that's doing the torturing in seven. That's what you mean. No, reverse. So like, he, I know it's a lot. It's ten of them, nigga. I don't want. So, I don't want. I don't want to talk about this. I didn't know Jigsaw started outsourcing. I hate, I hate this. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like it, it, they're they're they all connect. The only one that's not connected is um, it's not really connected. Connected. Uh, uh, 
The one with Chris Rock. I was just gonna say, and, is that uh, one? yeah. What? Yeah. Chris Spiral. Rock is in a song. Spiral yes. and uh, Samuel Jackson, but it is connected. It's like the post of Saw of like what happened now. That is confusing. The the last one is is the one he got inspired by, as in like I'm about to die. Okay, now the trial and error of figuring it out, as in like I do this like and this guy got away like damn. Okay, now I gotta make some tweaks. As in like, it's his teenage years, like the year one of him. Be a serial Not right. Jigsaw though. Yeah, it's Jigsaw. That's the last one. He's like, okay, now I gotta tweak some things. And around. these are flashbacks. The last one is is he found out he got cancer. He said, okay, now I gotta make purpose of my life. Now let me kind of figure things out. So yeah, it's I, what. So okay, so Jigsaw got <laughs> cancer. Said I need to figure my life out and then started kidnapping. Figuring my life out meant how can I kill people more efficiently? I have mm-hmm. ne- I have never he been never more shocked anybody. to learn about a character. He never killed he anybody. Never killed nobody. No one dies. He just put people people fall in traps. Oh, you one of them type of niggas. He All never right. killed nobody. Right. But people died in these traps. Yeah. No innocent until proven That's guilty. Crazy. No, no, but you can save yourself. Reasonable yourself. doubt ass nigga. You can you, save uh, yourself. <laughs> Cam, have you seen these movies? Don't leave me out here by myself. You can you can save yourself by killing somebody I have else. I've not seen the sound movies, no. There's a lot of movies to keep, keep track of. They're, they came out like once Isn't every there year. Isn't like 10 of them? Yeah. So you relate with Jigsaw. Like you, you, would, you would argue for him in terms of Well, if being. you are a terrible person, like if you are a murderer, mm-hmm. they say, I don't like how you value life. If you can uh, <clears throat> remove your fingers by these... Uh, like, Ice grips. Or yeah. You now value life. Prunes. But if you don't, th- this machine will break your fingers. Something like that. It's something like that. So it's like, I'm not killing you. You can take control of your life. But if you don't and don't do nothing, broke, 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 broke. Is that one of the traps? That's like, I, I remixed it. Yeah, one of them looks like that. That's yeah. horrifying. I don't That's, know why anybody I mean, would want to watch that. Why, why I got to do that? And who are but you to you point are, out my flaws? Because I saw you what you did. So oh, these what, are bitch, close all your the tortured eyes. people. Yeah, have, they, they, have, they've done something wrong. To try to get the audience to be like, he deserves this. That's essentially what it was. That is a crazy. I know I'm getting a terrible, premise. terrible example. I'm trying to sum up like ten of them, man. It's, 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 <laughs> yeah, it's giving a terrible summary. It's ten of them, man. They're all different types of storylines. <laughs> Jigsaw got the same uh, start as what's his face, Walter White. Well, Walter White killed people, but yeah, he got in. Yeah, cancer. but the starting yeah. like cancer. Yeah. I got to yeah. change something up. Right. One went drug dealing. One went mass murder. Right. So, so I think he got inspired. Like he got cancer. Then, like, smells like. Um, like he was like this, this healthy person was doing something wild. He was stealing from from his, his dying grandmother. He was like, "Come on, man, what you doing? Like I'm about to die, and you up here stealing." You know, he's like, he got inspired. Like, okay, cool. Now I, I gotta let people know that v- life is more than stealing or something like that. Mm. That's Jigsaw. That's Jigsaw. He saw it happening. Jigsaw trash. His backstory is boof. Yeah, hella boof. I'm not a fan. I hate y'all niggas, man. <laughs> this, I feel this, like soft. This fans movie are came out in 2004, you, and I seen each of them one time. It came out like every year. It's about to be a 20 year anniversary of a stupid torture <laughs> Just movie. Killing people. Mm-hmm. I don't like torture movies. It's like I kind of like I don't know I don't like torture scenes, but I'm kind of fascinated by torture. Is but that they, can't look away kind of? Yeah, and I don't want to like see something that's doing too much, oh, yeah. but especially in like those uh, war stories when mm-hmm. you get caught by the other side, that mm-hmm. seems so scary. No yeah. one, no one speaks the language. They're yeah. just like right. they don't Just give a shit. Yeah. Like German. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That shit is scary as hell. I don't um, watch that. I actually talked about this on CP's podcast. There is a town full of twins, and it's still a mystery to science today. What? Lena Sa Pedro is a tiny German settlement near the city of Candido Gudoya, Gudaya, Gudoya in Brazil. It's mostly known for basically bursting with twin births. The amount of twins born here exceeds the national average by more than 10 times, and no one knows why. I have a theory. There was talk of a Nazi experiment. That's what I was going to say. That's what Argentine you were going to say? Argentine historian yeah. uh, Jorge Camaras, Camar- Camarasa, book uh, Menjali, the Angel of Death in South America, blames <coughs> Josef Menjali. Camarasa says that Menjali made frequent twips, trips to Lenhasa Pedro in the 60s, after that, the incidents of birth twins mushroom. Now, on CP's podcast, him and be? Maya were watching a show. I forgot the name of the movie. I'm sorry, not a, not a show, but a movie. I, I'll get the name of it. But 
in that movie they basically <laughs> were saying that they had cloned they were able to clone yeah. Hitler and they took the genes mm. and basically made multiple Hitlers and each one of these Hitlers multiverse his his no not not even like in a multiverse just like Here. I we have this 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 technology we're going to make all of these Hitlers and they have to all go through the same thing that Hitler does to see if it inspires the same type of action. So all of their dads had to die at like eight or nine. Mm. Um, without them knowing <coughs> it was just going to happen. Like to see if it was still going to create the same response in the baby Hitlers. But supposedly this took place in this town or something like that. And oh, so it's a wild conspiracy theory that. We've had the ability to clone for years. What year was this supposed to be? Probably this was supposed to be 50s. like the 60s. So post-World yeah. War II, a lot of the Nazis escaped to Brazil because that was like a safe haven. And they did a lot of experiments like that. Age 14, right. Hitler's big thing was trying to create like a perfect race. Mm -hmm. And that's why they did experiments on humans and all that kind of stuff. And they continued doing that in Brazil. So that's Why'd they go to Brazil? Because it was a safe haven. I mean, it's a, a place where like... We couldn't track them down because it was like the 40s and 50s, so it was still... Germany and Brazil not close. Probably not anymore. <laughs> what? No. No, he you always think they close in, uh, politically. <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, that's why. They, they wanted to get as far away from okay. Germany as possible. A Brazilian-German woman would be mm. delicious. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, uh, uh, so the people in this town... Were probably descendants <clears throat> of experiments, gene genealogical experiments uh, that the German scientists were doing in the 40s. So a lot of them are related to Hitler? Or well, I mean, uh, I don't know about the whole cloning Hitler part. That's mm. still conspiracy theory, but they did experiments on people to try and create like the blue-eyed, blonde-haired race. The Nazis. The Nazis tried to do For that. For sure. So that's so, fact. That's that's fact. Yeah. They were definitely trying to do that and experimenting on the, the locals there. And through like yeah, inbreeding and crossbreeding like and that, you can create the twin scenario like you're getting there now. Well, it's, uh, it's, it's just double eggs. That's a, you were pretty much creating you said that. Yeah, eggs? but the gene, but double one of eggs. it, but it's genetic. Oh. <laughs> so if you mess with people's genes through making them have children with certain people and only mm -hmm. those people, you can produce certain results. Right. That's a vitro. Wow. So they went to hide and experimented yeah. on the locals of where they were? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's fucked up. That's. But what, how would they make the perfect race if they wanted. The world to be white. They they only had Brazilians out there. Well, I mean, they're trying it with them. If they can perfect also, it with them, then they can take the process there to uh to to a white colony and just start it there. Oh right. Yeah. So the, the the Spanish they were just the trial and error. They were the guinea pigs. So the theory is that these clones worked, and they were. The clones grew up and started having kids. Well, the clones that was just, well, that was just a movie. I think the yeah. twins part was like. The twins part is basically they experimented on, say, their parents in that, yeah. made them have kids with certain people. So they basically like selected, like, you had to have a kid with this person, and they did X, Y, and Z to them to like alter their genetics, exposing them to radiation, all sorts of different things to then produce a result. And then that gets passed down when you alter their genes. And I th forget which set of twins, whether it's fraternal or identical, is an actual genetic trait. So once you have so many of the people who have that, then everyone's going to produce twins Damn. at that point. Uh, how are you going to create a Damn. perfect race and y'all lost every race in the uh, Olympics <laughs> that year? Damn. <laughs> it's like, we're not that perfect. <laughs> we came in last place in all these. That's insane. I wonder if them, uh, the twins part has to do with them trying to get results quicker. Like if they found a way to mutate the twin gene or... yeah. You know, just pair people with who who had the most twins in their exactly. family, pair them with other twin family members, and were able to produce more twins themselves. But also, you have a higher pool yeah. to to to, to a pull higher from. likelihood percentage yeah. that you're going to have twins. So yeah, that's exactly what they would do. Is they would find people like, oh, this this woman had twins before. Mm -hmm. so let's pair them with this man who's a twin of somebody else, mm -hmm. and then they have a kid. So it's just it like making that gene stronger exactly. and stronger. Exactly. I wouldn't want that. That would look really creepy. Imagine, yeah, imagine <laughs> the first record of twins. It's like, wait a second, how many times do we have sex? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, wait, what is happening? The first the first doctor <laughs> having to pull two babies out of the like, oh, right. hold yeah, on. Like, there's two. How did this, did you get pregnant twice? Mm -hmm. And Maybe. then, I mean, imagine when it's born and they look exactly the same. It's like, <laughs> it's like we got to figure out. Some glitch. Right. <laughs> some break. How are we gonna figure Damn. this out? They never talked about twins in the Bible, I don't feel like. Yeah. Did uh, they ever talk Esau about twins? Esau and uh McGraw. 
<laughs> he saw Jacob, man. They were twins? Yeah. Right. You sure? He came out with grabbing his ankle. He saw him Jacob, man. They came out like that? Yeah, and that, and he was... Uh, the second one was a hater. Yeah, and he was the one that uh, God promised... Uh, um, yeah, Esau and Jacob were twins. No, it's in the Old like, Testament. This little, is the, this little little Genesis. He said, oh, that's why I know, because it's the Old Testament. <laughs> what about... Um, Son of Isaac and Cain Rebecca? and Abel. Th- those are two names. Oh, they came out the same time. Like an album. That's a double Who album. Who is that? Cain and Abel? Yeah. Yeah, they were twins, weren't they? Mm-hmm. I forgot all about Cain and Abel. You know, I used to listen to them on No right, Limit. Right, on No Limit? <laughs> I don't know how I forgot about that. Who hey. went up to the top to, 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 to kill it again, and then the guy was like, never mind. Just That's uh, Abraham. 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 Yeah. Were they twins? And Isaac was... No, that was father and son, right? Huh? Yeah, that was father and son. Yeah. 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 What, 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 what was that? It was a test. <laughs> it was... So, what was the message of it? Yeah, like... The what, message what, was... What, 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 what was that? Because... <laughs> Isaac was so infatuated with his son mm-hmm. that he started kind of losing relationship with God, and then and then he was like, God was kind of jealous. Obviously, he was like, I don't think you. Yeah, our God's a jealous guy. Yeah, they say that's a jealous guy. And he was like, I need you to go up to the top of the mountain and slay uh, your son, and and he Damn. provided all the stuff for him, the knife, Sheesh. the top bind, bind him up. He and, he provided the knife. Yeah, yeah, God, yeah. yeah. God handed it to him. I don't, know, I don't know the specifics, okay. And then uh, right it's when crazy. he tried to do it, he said, Stop. He's like, Okay, uh, you rock with me, <laughs> pretty much. But then uh, after that day, you never heard any relationship between the father and son again because he's like, I ain't messing. That is crazy. They have separate books. You, you, don't, you don't hear <laughs> their their relationship no more. I think he's like, Yo. But they both still in the. They're in there. Yeah. I, uh, uh, Isaac grew up. They just stopped hanging out. <laughs> He told That's his real. mom, was like, I ain't messing with dad no more. <laughs> Keep him away from me. This is a weird question, but did it did it specify which direction Abel was facing when God said no? Like, was he just, like, looking out and, you know, he was behind him when he said stop? Or was it, like... I think it was just a, a yeah, voice. Yeah, plastic bag. <laughs> <laughs> he had piano wire. <laughs> 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 he was gonna, he was gonna kill him with a burlap sack. <laughs> the burlap sack had scorpions breathe. in it. <laughs> yeah, it shook the shack up, so he agitated the scorpions. He was like, "Father, forgive me." He was like, "I told you to do it." Yeah, yeah. I thought it was like a brick. I thought Abel killed his king with brick. Was it a brick? Yeah, I thought it was like a a stone or something. Was it? So was it, it was. a knife? No, no. This, this is a king and Abel that, he, yeah. that he's referring to right now. Oh, he killed him with a brick. Yeah, a biblical yeah, a brick, a stone. Yeah, oh. and then uh, That's a biblical brick. and was and was and was disrespectful. Is it Abel who killed Cain or Cain who killed Abel? Abel. So hit a hit. So Cain killed Abel. So you know the famous term, "Am I my brother's keeper?" Yeah, that comes from Cain and Abel, right? Mm-hmm. But we always look at it as a positive thing. But this is when God had asked Abel, who's like, "Hey, where's Cain at?" He said, "Am I my brother's keeper?" That was a disrespect. Oh, it was it was irony. Yeah, it was like I don't know. Am I my brother's keeper? But now we use it like I am my right. brother's keeper. <laughs> right. That's we crazy. use it as a positive thing, but it's more disrespect to. to it was others. a clapback. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Am I my brother's keeper? Anyway, as I was, as, let me go and keep plowing these. Uh... Got slapped after that. <laughs> you, don't, you don't play with them biblical mamas. <laughs> Dang, he killed him with a rock. Yeah. yeah, killed him with a rock, and then and the then God. Told him to Condemned him to wandering for the rest of his life. Mm-hmm. He just walked Where around. At? Earth, nigga. Like in the, like, this just was the, like the city? This was like Adam and Eve times. It was like walk. Yeah. Walk north. Yeah, keep going. Damn. Don't don't turn back. I mean. Yeah, he walked for three days. He walked for 30 days and got to the water. He's like, what about now? Keep walking, <laughs> keep walking nigga. Yeah. And worst walk in worst the things happened in the Bible, so <laughs> it's not that bad. That's killing like, your brother uh, with a rock? Yeah. That's like, uh, what was the, the, the first season of Daredevil with the, the villain... We had the power to tell you what oh, to do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Purple that Man? Was, oh. That was Jessica Jones. Purple though. Man? Jack- yeah. That was Jessica His Jones. His name is Purple Man? Oh, Jessica Jones. Yeah, I'm sorry, Jessica man. Jones. Mm-hmm. Jessica Purple Jones. Man. Yeah. yeah. He was Awful like, die by a thousand cuts, and so she just stood there yeah. and just cut herself. Yeah. Yeah. God. Yeah. Hey, that was a cold-ass he, nigga. He didn't even, like, stay stay and watch. He's like, hey, I need you to go out there and hang yourself. Yeah. Now, like I was saying. And then so, went to do something yeah, else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she was like... He was in the noisy restaurant. He was talking to him. He was like, everybody shut up! And everybody just... It was 
a cold ass <laughs> yeah, get a creative, villain. A, a creative villain. horrible Oh villain. my yeah. God. You know the yeah. amount of banks I would rob <laughs> you with that right type of... Pro- I mean, no one I would mean, want that. just... No one would want that problem. You gotta slowly be a villain, man. You can't go right to. Absolutely, I can't. Yeah, you can. You can you, tell. You tell can the say, judge hey, listen, you do. hey, Paul, go rob a bank for me. No, no. Right? What? That's no. first? Paul's not gonna do it right. I mean, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not. This this is my. I, I walk in, I, everybody, I'm finna rob this bank, but you don't care. Boom, walk in, walk out with what I want. You're mm-hmm. seeing me walk out, but you're gonna forget this happened in 15 seconds. Surveillance can't really be like, cops like, that's too Oh, you, by the way, <laughs> destroy surveillance. All video from today, me walking in everything, destroy it, everything. Mm-hmm. Walk out. Yeah, and I then, ain't even have to hurt nobody. Upload the cloud, and then they forget you, <laughs> and then so they forget what you said, and they're like, "Did we get robbed? Let's check the cameras." <laughs> no, but the camera, the camera. He still don't remember. <laughs> he has to remember. They just don't remember who I was. Yeah, but also, anytime the police pull up on you, you can just be like, "It's not me." Oh yeah. yeah. So his power is just he could speak things into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's super influential. Mm-hmm. That's a great man. Listen, all you got, all I gotta do is get on TV one time. Yeah. I'm everybody's favorite <laughs> movie star. Right, 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 right. Until somebody I, fucks with your teleprompter and you're like, I'm not a villain anymore. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love my powers. <laughs> listen, oh no! <laughs> what if you went on live your TV is like, I'm the funniest comedian ever, right? And everybody hears it, and then you never actually do a show. <laughs> Niggas just know you as the funniest comedian hey. ever, but they can't name yeah, any of your jokes. <laughs> Remember the joke when he did the... Um, um, uh, I can't Ooh. think of it, but yo, this shit was so Ooh. fucking funny. <laughs> How did he have a Netflix special that we never saw? <laughs> <laughs> we never he, saw it. He has like... He has like... <laughs> just thumbnails. Chapters and chapters <laughs> of specials. He's got thumbnails. <laughs> <laughs> he has a sitcom? <laughs> <laughs> a sitcom that ran zero seasons. That's crazy. Can you imagine winning an Oscar for a movie you weren't in? <laughs> Yo, that nigga's a beast. Third episode, episode was... six. Is, uh... <sighs> Which one was he? What's He's the, the main um... character. That's what's crazy. <laughs> I cannot remember his name. It's just a fire uh, photo <laughs> with a cast in the back. I know that I love this show, but I, I can't think of one. I, I can't think of one episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh poster. my gosh, man! <laughs> Somebody said that's the origin of the Mandela effect. Yeah. He just decided, like, nah, it's always been Bearstein, a Bearstein. Yeah. <laughs> like, wait, what? The, 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 my problem with that is that everything that changed is stupid. Like, someone went back in time and was like, "Hey, take the hyphen out of Kit Kat." <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? I'll take that. I that them, that means that they're not real villains. I, I appreciate that because you, you imagine what you can do work. with that. Type? Oh, that's light work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that don't hurt nobody. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Like uh, George, George, uh, Curious George don't have a tail. Mm hmm. And well, Pikachu's he, he, tail he is black. Tail. I, that bothered me. I was like, whoa. Mm-hmm. He's a chimpanzee. Yeah. I didn't know that. They don't have tails. No, no. no that's no. A, he's a gorilla. No. No, he's Chim- not a gorilla. Chimpanzees don't have tails? So apes don't have tails. Monkeys have tails. That's the difference between apes mm. and monkeys. Whoa. All right. The new year. We here. This is this is January. This is 2024. What are you going to do different? huh? This is that time of year where everybody wants to get fit and get ready for the summer. Get summertime fine. How are you going to do that? I tell you how. With HelloFresh. OK, this is that time of year where everyone is looking to revamp their eating habits and look no further than HelloFresh's wholesome health forward options like over 30 calorie smart and protein smart recipes each week. Over 30. That's a lot of options. If I gave you opportunity, you could name me 30 items on a menu from a specific restaurant, but they're giving you over 30 items, calorie smart and protein smart. They got you covered. Okay, listen, they say breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Well, HelloFresh agrees. In fact, they're giving all subscribers free breakfast for life. That means you enjoy a totally free breakfast item with every single HelloFresh delivery. Now, that's worth waking up early for. And I know some people are like, oh, to here I got a crazy schedule. I can't be in the kitchen all like that. I get it. I feel the same way. Y'all see what I be doing. I'm all over the place. I can't keep my head on straight. You think I got enough time to be in the killer kitchen cooking for 30, 40, 50 minutes? No, I don't. That's why I use the quick and easy meals from HelloFresh. All right. They got 15 minute recipes designed to help minimize mealtime stress. And you still get a ton of options. So listen, let's take the debate out of it. Let's get healthy. Let's get right. Let's get summertime fine. And let's get that free breakfast for life. All you got to do is go to HelloFresh.com slash DIYS free and use the code DIYS free for free breakfast for life. 
One breakfast item per box where your subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life at HelloFresh.com slash DIYS free with the code DIYS free. HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. (laughs) (laughs) Apes are gorillas. Gorillas, chimpanzees, baboons. Primates. Baboons yeah. just have a booty. Yeah. They, tail they, just have, primates. they have human Wait booties. a second. I just thought about something. Planet of the Apes. Are there no. any monkeys in that? No. There's no monkeys on Planet of the Apes? No. There's no tails? No. Orangutans are apes. Yo! I just thought about that. There ain't no monkeys. They have to have a, a sequel with monkeys. They don't have fucking tails. Wait, so what is Diddy Kong? Let's, <laughs> let's cut to the pop He's culture references. Huh? He's a Kong. Diddy about to get canceled. But, but Donkey Kong is an ape, so he don't He's got a, a tail. Donkey Kong is a Kong, too. So why does Diddy Kong got a tail? That's a good question. Yeah, what is That's a Kong? good question. Hmm. He's, he, got, he got the name through marriage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kong's the last name? Yeah. I think he, I, or this... Species, I don't know. Yeah, was, well, yeah, he's, yeah, he got the name through marriage. So that's, that's his stepson. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, that's why he fuck his... with him. He don't fuck with him. He's like, you ain't being true to him. You wearing hats. <laughs> you he's a, take he's your clothes off. What are you doing? You trying to be a humanoid? It was never his son. It was his nephew. So he might be right. Yeah. He might have just. Uh, wow. We talked about this before, but this is Google's now. We we um how there's an estimated like 200 bodies still remaining on Everest. Yeah. yeah. Right. And, like, some of these bodies are, like, used as mile markers now, like the yeah. dude in the green boots. Mm-hmm. I read that that's kind of like an older stat, though, because <gasps> they started collecting them. They've gotten more advanced probably with the tech to get up there. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but those But they were... left some of them up there. Like, yeah. dude with the green boots is still up there. I thought green boots was the main one that was taken. Or they I thought it was still boots. up there. I don't know. Is they it said called... there was a body up there from, like, 1920. Like, that's how yeah. far back bodies go. That's crazy. So you people can really like Captain America themselves. Well, because eventually you get so covered in snow that you can't get to the body. It's wow. so frozen in there that like oh, wow. it'd probably so be, da- it'd be they... more dangerous trying to excavate the body than it would be to just leave it there. So how do they know this body? There's is it like a heat detector, like air attack? Yeah, they, uh, they can use <laughs> I don't know X rays to probably <laughs> scan it. I don't know. They they have records of people who have gone missing up there. Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Wrong with you, <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> they yeah. just on the phone like, <laughs> "Yep, he there, right here." If your loved one said, "Hey, I got like three more days to survive. I need you to come up here and get me," would you be like, "Give me the, put me in the wheel"? <laughs> what you gonna try? Put me in try? the wheel? Yeah, I mean, what you gonna say? You oh, the wheel. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Would I mean, you... I would hope that I wasn't their hope if they I'm got the bo- in that you situation. Huh? You at the bottom. Oh, I went? Yeah, you went with him. You stay at the bottom. And he's like, I twisted my ankle. I need you to come up here and get me. So you're at base camp. Yeah, I mean, I, I would assume I was going to try to climb it, would too. Would you be like, I'm going to see if I can get somebody to go up there? <laughs> I wouldn't. We wouldn't be the. It wouldn't just be us, too. <laughs> I, I know that I would never have an urge to climb for, like, I'm not an adrenaline junkie, so I wouldn't ever want to do You'd that. Like, Good luck, sweetheart. I would use I would use my, the resources at base camp to get like a helicopter. Uh-huh. <laughs> Help is on the way. I want you to be here. <laughs> Three get days here. is plenty of time. Help is on the way. <laughs> Three days is plenty it's of time. There's nothing I can do that's going to help you more than the people that are certified, mm-hmm. right? To help, I stay on the phone. Right, I okay. definitely would do She's that. Coming out frozen, like you son of a bitch. You stayed out here the whole time, <laughs> like this. <laughs> yeah, because you frozen. <laughs> you son of a bitch. I'm like, now nah, if I would have came up and came down like you, who gonna drive the car? <laughs> Neither one of us grab bags if we both like that. I, we still gotta get this shit on. What if I freeze while I'm helping you? <laughs> right in front. What of if like I this? reach you and then I freeze while I'm? I'm just like... <laughs> this nigga ain't got himself frozen. Shit, bitch. Look, look, look at this nigga. Take a picture of him. He frozen. Try to get up here. <laughs> this was a. Uh, this was dark. <laughs> this is pretty I, dark. How many people, how many bodies up there? Um, it said two hundred. Damn, uh, estimated two hundred. What they saying is, you know, could be changed by now. But yeah, Russell Simmons' body count right there. I don't, Jesus. I don't know what you would even feel once you hit the the top. Like that's not even. That's not even. Uh, it doesn't even seem it like probably it doesn't would... look that much different than any other mountaintop. But right. But, I mean, yeah, for sure. And I've I've experienced that. You know, like climbing Culver stairs. You get reach yeah. the top, you're like, Whew. yeah, that's that was a lot. cool. I don't know if that's the same thing, but it's I know not. what you're saying. It's only like a, like it's it's a sense of accomplishment. I, I reached yeah. the top. You feel yeah, good? I hear that, but I'm but there's also <laughs> snow. 
You it's a big a, difference between yeah. wilding mask. Yeah. Wild, you wild wild nigga talking about COVID versus oh, right. I, I, I mean, I understand that one is way more difficult. I'm just saying, <laughs> saying to risk your life yeah. and to die like that for a similar feeling. The sense of accomplishment is like, yeah. Put this Lego set together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, yeah. That's a mini yeah. version of what they feel. <laughs> Millennial Falcon right here. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. Set was 5,000 pieces, <laughs> nigga. Yeah. Mine I know what Everest is like. Mine takes uh, three to four minutes to do What's the What is the fastest someone has made it to the top? So, uh, let me see the fastest time. ascension. And if you had like a a snowmobile? Well, I'm just thinking like a like a hot suit. What is, what is, is it? The hypothermia that gets you, or is it just like a lack of breath, like a lack of air? Yeah, I mean, you I mean like, like why do you die up there? Yeah, what is the reason? Why? It's a multi. I mean, a blizzard Freezing. hits and Ooh. it's too cold Ooh. to pass. You get lost because I mean, it's, it's yeah. you can't see where you're going. Um, Ain't you just altitude. going one up? Yeah, but if it's all if you get hit caught in a blizzard, it's all you don't know what, direction you, you going. You don't know where your direction is going. You just got to sit down. Crazy, you go going by. downhill? You don't even notice. <laughs> You um, would drop the direction. You reach home. base camp. Well, like, plus the, two weeks. the altitude, lack of oxygen, you can't think as well. So Damn. A, that a, sounds horrible. Yeah, no, no, no. Guys, can we start climbing? Do you just get money for this? Mountains? Like, what is the accomplishment? Is it, no, you it have just, to spend money. It's, it's, like, 50, it's like about fifty thousand dollars to get fifty thousand because and of like the equipment? training, equipment, and to like pay the guides because you got to pay a guide to bring you up to where you got. But they don't go. They don't climb. No, they're they're smart enough not to. The the fastest ascent. Was ten hours and fifty six minutes. Wow, he was booking. Yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know it was on foot. T- I mean, yeah, the fastest and ascent the without and stuff? supplemental oxygen and fastest ascent from Everest North Base Camp was sixteen hours and forty five minutes. So that ten hours was with supplemental uh, oxygen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why would you not do the supplemental? Longest oxygen? stay on the summit was twenty one hours. Stay? Yeah, that's how long. Damn, they were su- savoring it. Mm. That's insane. They stayed up there for a full day. Yeah. <laughs> Most deaths in one day at Everest. 22. Damn. In one day. In one 24 hour rotation <laughs> of the goddamn. A lot. The, every that guy. Was probably was, like a blizzard hit and everybody at the camp was. <laughs> Maybe. You know, Imagine the at body. Once. You just April 25th, like, 2015. <laughs> the guys, that's a crazy job. A lot of you, the people you sent up there, like, just ain't there no more. Like, Can you there. get the bins? From going yeah, up, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So imagine What's that. Mag- so the bends is when air bubbles, uh, uh, because of the pressure, air pressure bubbles form in your bloodstream, and you and they cause pain, and you could die from it. Um, it's why, like divers, you have to go down a super bit, slow, wait, and then you got to go down more. It's oh, just that's like why. climbing the mountain. You have to go up. You wait a day, then you go up to the next camp. You wait, and then you go up to the next one. Oh. And you wait because you have to adjust to the the pressure, the altitude. Because uh, even underwater, air bubbles will get in your blood. Yeah. It just. It's nitrogen bubbles. Yeah. Wow. So, there's one woman, Lakpa Sharma, Sherpa. You had to say her name. <laughs> she extended 10 times. She what? Went up, she's, she's, she went, she, she's went up 10 times. So, imagine she, she definitely got the bins. No, nah, she's, I mean, she didn't see times she know what she's doing. She don't, I don't think she realized she did it yet. She, she, <laughs> well, she like, did I do it? <laughs> no, nah, well, most of them is by a foreigner. Non Nepali or Tibetan, seventeen times. Somebody from the United Kingdom named Clinton Cool did it seventeen fucking times. Are they doing this to get on a like a, a, a brand deal? Or? Well, a lot Maybe of the I mean tennis? the early people were just competing with each other to be like doing all like um like the doing the wonders of the world. They're like mm-hmm. wanna be the the person who's climbed it the most. So wow. it's a lot of like put that shit in Wikipedia, doubles. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> still no uh, still no sponsorships? <laughs> Nobody calls <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'll climb it again. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> oh shit, that was impressive for that young lady. <laughs> but this this guy named Kama Rita Sherpa has climbed the mountain it's a great twenty-eight climbing. times. That's insane. Yeah. So he looked at the times. seventeen guy like he's huh? He might live up there. I mean, I don't know if he lives up there, but he's definitely from Nepal. Yeah, see, they're a lot. They're attuned to the altitude too because they're. Live in, in those high mountains. I think his last name is Sherpa. I need to He's see. Born his, for that. I feel like that was his job. I need to look up his oh. net worth. Look, <laughs> look up his net worth. <laughs> like, how is he getting money from this? It's like Nike still don't got a. Kyle <laughs> uh, his name. <laughs> Nike still don't got a. Might be, yeah, sure. Everest sure. climbing sure. division. Yeah, yeah, but it's a, yeah. Kamarita still is no name. ice climbing division, huh? 
<laughs> no assisting, uh, assisting uh, coach or something. Adidas. Uh, I think Red Bull would sponsor him. Or right. Hey, Red Bull. Monster, Red yeah, yeah. Bull. Somebody. Red Bull will have you climb the whole damn thing just but, so you can parachute but off. But you got to jump off. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not really a parachute. It's like a goddamn flying squirrel thing. <laughs> and you freeze. You get to the bottom. You just stuck like this. You got to snowboard down. Did you get that? <laughs> <laughs> did we catch it? Little, like, ah, oh, they can give you the flag. Extreme, we didn't baby. have a we didn't have a card in the camera. We actually got to do it again. <laughs> Are people putting flags at the top? Is yeah, that the point, or is it? To. I don't think you're allowed to do that. Oh anymore. shit, that was you another can't. thing I read about. Ever is like, it's a lot of oh, so much excrement yeah. on there. Shit. Like, got to. Yeah. yeah, people just be taking big shits. It's, it's probably rocks <laughs> up there now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure it freezes pretty quickly. Reaching the right. top and it's shitty is that's crazy. Boy, yeah. all types of shit. It stink. And That's it's not even, crazy. It's got to be hard and cold trying to push it out because it, it, <laughs> it, it freezes immediately. Oh, so you basically shitting out a big ass uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. dildo. It's just stuck coming out. You got the. <laughs> 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 Shake it to the feather. <laughs> get some hot water. Get some hot water. <laughs> you, know how, you know how dogs wipe their butt and they be scraping their butt yeah. on the ground? <laughs> <laughs> Taking your shit on the top of Mount Everest. That's a hilarious visual. <laughs> oh, damn. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> Cause now you gotta expose your butt. Mm-hmm. Cause that frostbite. That, whoo, whoo, oh. whoo. You reach back there, you like. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! No. <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding, ding. I thought my diet would be more healthier than that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean at that point you just gotta just keep drinking water and just fast. You gotta, Oof. you gotta, you oh. gotta push all that out. A lot of freeze dried stuff in there. Yeah. Oh my God. That's freeze dried. Horrible. Well, like the non perishables, like MREs and that. Oh, oh that take is. it up to oh, the yeah. so it won't go bad. It won't freeze on you. Damn, it, that's that's a long time. Huh. Well, that is that that has surviving. been a, a great time, another great show. Uh, <laughs> I want to thank our special guest Dion Lack for pulling up, coming Ooh. through. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Dion, you got anything going on that you want to let the people know about? Hey man, go check out my Christmas rap. Man. Come on, man. Let's yeah, go. ten is year anniversary. W R A P. Huh? W R A P. What does that mean? Rap. Christmas rap. Oh. <laughs> Bars. Sorry. We didn't even see that was happening. Yeah, I didn't know if he was like, as in an acronym, like, like. Not nah, because you said Christmas. I got. Ooh, that was good. Come on. I didn't oh, know they had jingle bells on yeah, sound bells. Check out my Christmas rap, man. Ten. I had This is the tenth one. And we did a recap of all the, the Christmas that we did, man. I'm excited about it. Yeah, man. Brought the whole cast back, you know. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Got a little surprises in there. Yeah, yeah man. Summer so time for New Year's, too. We about to get that back. That's all your piss sound. Cause you don't, it's sad when, when to hear piss, he got to spray afterwards. <laughs> oh. I drink more water than that. Damn. That's why I stopped drinking. His, his piss I was getting off. drunk from peeing. His, 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 he his, takes a piss, everybody's like, hey, who's shitting here? <laughs> his piss come out like honey. <laughs> who's shitting my, ba- who shit my, ma- my bathroom? No, that was me. Who's uh, shitting uh, your girdle? It, 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 it hangs like pit bull drool. No. Uh, <laughs> like he, got, he got a shit. Take it off. Like, Come on. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I've been to hear more. Patrick <laughs> 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 we'll see you next week on another episode of Damn Internet. <laughs> you scary. <laughs> Happy holidays, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Happy holidays. New Year's. <laughs>